Here's another problem from, wood, from uh, web work. We're looking at uh, some income of people. We're looking at some ulcer rates. Uh, they're kind of thinking that if your income is low, that your ulcer rates will be high because you've got a lot more to worry about, I guess. Um, so we'd like to, to look at this data. The trick is often getting data into R. Uh, many times you're able to to highlight data and maybe copy it. I'd like to uh, to put that in. Let me uh, see if I can't find a spreadsheet here. This is my spreadsheet. Uh, so I, I just caught, notice what I did there. I I had highlighted that data and then I copied it and I'm just bringing it over to a spreadsheet and um, I'm going to paste it into that spreadsheet and how nice it, it did it the <laughs> spreadsheet was able to get things lined up the problem is I need these to be in columns so I'm going to need to know how to work my spreadsheet I'm going to work on that I'm going to edit that I'm going to cut it so now that's gone and uh, I'm in this spreadsheet I'm going to paste a special. It's going to be a transpose. So in your spreadsheet you'd have to learn how to create a transpose. So I turned rows to columns and columns to rows. So there's my my spreadsheet. Now I want to save that in a special way so it doesn't have any formatting commands in it. I want to save it as a comma separated variable file. Um, so I'm going to save it. I want to put it in documents and I want that to be in my uh, R directory. That's where I'm keeping all this stuff. I've actually saved it here before to practice and make sure I could do it before I made the video. Uh, I'm going to call it alter income uh, and then I'm going to tell it that I want this to be a comma separated file picking that kind of a file and uh, then we're just going to say save a file already exists and yes we want to replace it and we want it to be a comma separated file and in fact I'm going to come in here and tell it to be an ASCII file <coughs> in this word processor to make sure I don't have any extra stuff uh, so there, uh, there we've got it let me bring up uh, R now and remember that routine I want to uh, make sure where my working directory is there's ways of setting your working directory so you don't have to always do this but I'm just reminding you that you can check and see where your working directory is and you can reset that working directory um, to there and then I could list files that are in my working directory those are some common commands there's that file that we just created and saved so what I'd like to do I'm going to call it UI for um, ulcer income and I'm going to read in uh, comma separated variable file and the name of that file was ulcer income dot c csv okay and so there it is and you can check and verify that it really is the data that that uh, we had there the uh, the ulcer rate is the second column. Ooh, I wish that it I had it named it better than that. It's ulcer dot rate. That's going to be tough to work on. Uh, and the name of my data frame is UI. So I could plot uh, UI. I want to have income as my x variable and UI ulcer dot rate 
as the other variable. And let me pull that into place so you can see it. Yeah, there seems to be a very definite negative trend there. Uh, trend there, and it's it's really close to a straight line, so it's going to be a negative, probably 0.9 something. The closer to if it was exactly on a straight line, remember it would be the correlation coefficient would be a, a negative one. So we can calculate that correlation coefficient if that was something we were interested in. Yeah, very, very close to a negative one. I could look at uh, the linear model. I'm thinking of the oops, ulcer dot rate as being predicted by the, uh, what's the other thing, income. And so there's the y-intercept, uh, this uh, e plus 1 means that this decimal place should be moved over 1. So the, the y-intercept is about 13.48 and uh, the slope is going to be a negative. This negative 5 means that the decimal place should be moved 5 to the left. So it's a, a very, very small uh, negative number, but it does have a negative slope. I'm using the back arrow button to just pull up stuff we've done before. There's my my plot that we had. Okay, and let me do, uh, I'd like to do an AB line on this thing. So uh, AB line of that. And sure enough, there it is. So we did quite a few things there. We looked at the scatter plot. We looked at the correlation coefficient, which was a, almost a negative one, because these points are really, really close to being right on that line. Uh, we looked at the linear model, so we could actually write the equation of this line. We looked at the AB line. See, there's the y-intercept at a 13 point something, and, uh, and there's that slope. Okay, that's it.